Well, it's almost been two years now. It was the end of um, d December 2018 to the, um, so it was the new year for 2019. I did a blog about Ariana Grande because she had canceled um, her show here in Las Vegas. And um, I had already, you know, for years been uh, noticing that she was bulimic, but no one else had apparently. And um, that was another indicator with that show. And people were like, oh, you know, she canceled the show because of Mac Miller and all that. And I said, yeah, of course, because when you are bulimic, um, when something like someone dies, uh, that's going to just create your bulimia is going to go through the moon because most people use bulimia as a coping mechanism for something and usually for anxiety um uh people use it for social anxiety for um pain for any sort depression. of depression uh um anything a lot anything that you you know that you distract but the other thing is food is highly addictive so not only are you just using it as a coping mechanism it's also insanely addictive so you're wanting it all the time so bulimics become very addicted to caffeine and sugar usually those are the two things bulimics just go through the moon on and um ariana grande right there two indicators that uh, if you were questioning, you know, and those are two things where you can right there be like, okay, she loves sugar. She named her tour sweetener. And then um, she's always got a Frappuccino or like some sort of Starbucks. She's a huge component of having like a, some sort of Starbucks all the time I see in her photos. And um, so, and I was the exact same way. The reason why I talk about all this is because I was bulimic for over 15 years. And now I've been recovered for, uh, it's close to four years now like coming on. Um, it, I started, started the recovery in like 2015, but then didn't really find out, you know, what to fully do until about 2000. 2017 or something but anyways that's not about me right now I would we're talking about Ariana Grande so here's the thing people say well why do you think she's bulimic okay well for one thing not to just pinpoint on Ariana Grande the thing is when you are um, someone in the in the celebrity light be it a model be it a rock star be it um, an actor, an actress, things that um, a social media star. President's daughter? President's daughter. When you're in the light where people are seeing you, you're going to want to look good. Okay? We can all acknowledge that, right? You're going to have even more pressure than people that aren't on camera all the time. Because, as they say, camera adds 10 pounds or whatever, you know, that thing they say. But here's the thing. So those people are going to be more prone already to have an eating disorder when they are in the spotlight. The other thing is eating disorders like bulimia are very expensive if you do it regularly because food gets expensive if you're eating it and throwing it up if you're not keeping it in because you know food's expensive as is when we uh, nourish ourselves we know food's getting expensive people are like I spend a lot on my food budget now imagine you all day you ate something threw it up had to go again you have to do so you're having to do multiple meals I mean when I was bulimic sometimes I would do I, I don't even know. Maybe one time I did like a hundred meals in a day. I mean, you really you just all day long. You just eat, throw up. Eat. So very quickly you can spend a huge amount of money. Which so the reason why I bring up the money thing is celebrities have a lot of money. So it's something that a lot of people that if they were to start bulimia and they were a regular person, they would right away say, "Ooh, that's too expensive," or they go in the poorhouse like I said myself. So celebs don't have that. So you have someone in the limelight uh, that has copious amounts of money so now you say okay they need to be thin and but they want to also eat because everyone wants to eat right so why wouldn't they be bulimic right think about like a, I'm saying like someone like an Ariana Grande really think if you're in her shoes and you've been struggling and she has struggled with her weight we can look back from her photos her weight has fluctuated throughout her life she actually started as a heavier star she was um, re referred to as um, like the, the girl on um, Clueless the one um, that Brittany Murphy played I can't think of the character's name but the chubbier girl like that girl played more like the uh, not as 
beautiful preppy girl as the Alicia Silverstone character. And Brittany Murphy also struggled with eating disorders. Brittany Murphy actually ended up passing away from numerous, uh, they don't know exactly, but I would think a lot of complications having to do with probably being bulimic for many years. And then her and her husband were doing a heavy drug use of a lot of prescription pills and stuff. So her and her husband died, but they were very unhealthy. And um, Ariana Grande, when she was younger, looked more like uh, that character, um, I can't think of the character right now, but the, the, the little chubbier character when she played her. And then when she got famous more as a singer, she was very thin. So in like 2013, 14, she was extremely thin. And when you look at her photos, I mean, pin thin um, legs, which those are all um, also indicators of bulimia. When you have someone with very, very thin legs and thin arms, um, in the beginning, now, I'll jump forward to like that's not always the case because I'll tell you in a second but in during certain times of their eating disorder this is what they're wanting is the real thin look but what happens with your eating disorder is it, it stops working so as they continue to do it they start to gain weight often um, even though they're continuing being bulimic and that's what's happening to her now so and people say oh she's still tiny here's the thing no one barely sees Ariana Grande anymore for one thing if you go to her Instagram and her Twitter to get a photo of Ariana Grande is like pulling teeth. I mean, she does not she did not post photos of herself. If she does, it's like half of an eyeball. I mean, you you do not see you don't see her body. I mean, literally, it'll be like like a little bit of her head, you know, getting a good angle with it shadowed and stuff. It's she's not showing herself, and that's because I don't think she feels very comfortable with her body right now because she's not fat. She's still a very small girl, but she has gained weight from where she was in let's say 2013. 14 people would say oh well she was younger then but that's not the case because see her weight has fluctuated a lot throughout her life which is another indicator of an eating disorder someone that goes from you know being heavier to very very thin and then gaining the weight back is often an eating disorder because if they had chosen a healthier lifestyle they would have kept the weight off but instead they put the weight back on which would have meant they were not doing something healthy when they lost the weight and it could have even been when she was very thin I know everyone was doing um, including her boyfriend was doing that uh, they call it uh, slim I think I can't think of the name but it was it's basically heroin it's oxy's um, the purple drink I can't think what everyone was calling it but it was making everyone lose weight in about two all of the all the artists were doing it um and that is what mac miller who was ariana grande's boyfriend was doing so i'm sure they were also uh supplementing and what happens with drugs often people use drugs like cocaine or heroin or um any of the ones meth and the other spe- that make you not want to eat they'll do that but then if you don't know about drugs what happens with drugs is eventually you have to eat again so what happens is drugs and bulimia often go hand in hand because what someone does is they starve themselves during the times they're partying doing the drugs and then when they go to eat again they're so hungry that they overeat and then so they have a tendency to your body will even want to throw up even just naturally because you overate because that's what happens when you it's like that starve and binge mode so even if you were not bulimic you can develop bulimia when you do that lifestyle and um, if you do a drug lifestyle that's what happens and a lot of these stars were partying a lot in the 2014 15 16 and then when we kind of like when we changed office it makes a big difference with the the whole way the world goes once we kind of go to a republican president it's funny how people kind of tighten up their belts and you know long, lengthen their shirts and pants and everything and now everyone is so um oh we don't do drugs but now instead people are getting fatter and they're um eating more and more and more and partying less you know and i'm not saying drugs are what you need to do i'm just saying that's just what happens as you shift and um it, it tends to happen when you have like a democratic president it seems to be a little bit people are a little more open a little more free spirit because it's a little more for independence of especially women um and then when it's republican they're a little bit more tightened and more a little christian based think women should dress more than what i'm wearing here this would be more a democratic probably view as what i'm wearing is okay where a republican would say you should put on more clothes um and i'm not political but so what happens is and with ariana grande and all of these stars we switched um presidents we switched the the way society goes and now they want to cover up well perfect timing 
to eat more because guess what? You're putting on more clothes anyways. You know what I mean? So, but they thought, who cares because we're bulimic, so it won't matter, so you'll still be thin. But it's interesting how there's the psyche of your body too. The more you cover your body, it's funny how your body will even just kind of go into the mode of just being slouchy. Whereas, because it's something about the way you, you actually carry yourself. If you're dressed nice, you're going to, on a daily basis, carry yourself better so you're actually going to build better muscles than when you wear your slouchy clothes, which everyone is doing. And so, back to Ariana Grande, they're wearing these huge sweatshirts are the thing. Um, Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber are also bulimic. But their big thing, Drew, with Justin Bieber, all, that whole line is just big shirts, big sweatshirts, big pants, just really just swimming in your clothes so that no one can really see your body. And you'll say, oh, they're still thin because they got a thin face. And they are still thin. Don't get me wrong. But what it is is their bodies are starting to morph into things they don't want. Because bulimia only works short term in the sense where you might get that ideal body you thought for a second. You know, you first start bulimia and you go, oh, look at this. I can eat whatever and I look great. But eventually it all catches up with you and then you start getting pockets of weight where you can really tell with bulimics is they their midsection. When I was bulimic, I never wanted to show my stomach. I was always wearing really loose things, never anything tight because that's where all my weight was. Everyone thought I was really thin because you have really skinny arms and legs, but you wear the weight here. So with Ariana Grande, she all always wears these skirts that are massive around her midsection. And you'll see, oh, she shows right here. Yeah, everyone's thin right here, but this is where the problem area, right here. This is where you get a donut when you're bulimic. And even if like she's thinner in other spots, you start to get this and it'll drive someone crazy. And what happens, the longer you try to hide and not show your body, and this is what's happening with her, is she's gaining more weight because it's causing her to get more depressed. It's just this vicious cycle. You don't want to show yourself, then you don't want to go out, you don't want to go to things, you cancel shows, you know, you're not feeling good, and just vicious, vicious cycle, and then you end up getting fatter. So as I'm seeing, when I do get a glimpse of her, I think she's gaining more weight, even though she's bulimic. Because here's the thing with bulimia, you still, if you're still sitting on the couch and not being active, even if you're throwing up, you're not going to be thin, too. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just think for the rest of your life. You can just do nothing. Your body will start losing all the muscle tone. You just won't look good. So that's what happens as, and you become obsessed with bulimic, bulimia, it's just all day long. So you start cutting out things like going to the gym, you start cutting out socializing, you start cutting out shows and things. And so what happened when I, with Ariana Grande, what I had spoke about was she had canceled that New Year's Eve show here, which is huge. And now people say, oh, she was sick, which she may have been sick, but I would argue that she was sick because of the depression with Mac Miller. She had really probably went down deep into her bulimia addiction, which I can 100% relate. My mom died, and that's exactly what I did. So some people will go into drugs, alcohol, whatever, all of the above. Other people will go into um, eating disorders, you know, all the above, whatever. With uh, with me, I went into alcohol and uh, my bulimia. She, I think, drinks as well, so she probably is drinking. Drinking is another way that you'll put on weight while you're bulimic, too, is because most people will keep the alcohol in, and alcohol has a lot of calories. So, like, as a bulimic, they'll often throw up all the food, but you want to stay drunk, so you don't want to throw up all of your alcohol. So that's where they end up getting a lot of those added calories that start to really irk at them, too, where they get these fat pockets. And you get the pockets, the thighs. Um, I started getting it really bad on the back of my thighs, like these weird fat pockets, and then your stomach, and then now the girls are starting to get it on their arms. You're starting to see a lot of the droopy arms and just big arms and it's hard to tell because the stars are so good at hiding they are they make their outfits to hide any of their imperfections so Ariana Grande has the skirts that go here she wears the boots up to here so you're really only seeing about this much of her thigh 
that's what you're getting to see, and you're seeing about this much of her waist, and then she, okay, even if she has a small shirt, she puts massive hair on her, on her body. So her hair also covers a huge portion of her body. If you notice, she never doesn't have her hair. She just always has her hair now. And hair, you can hide behind that, the massive hair. Girls get those extensions to hide behind them. It hides um, if your face is getting tight because your face gets very bloated as a bulimic too because especially when you're throwing up so much, you bust like the, the capillaries in your throat so you get like really bloated face and so they'll hide behind the hair. She actually puts her hair over her body. And so young girls are not seeing that she's even changed at all. They're thinking, she's still the tiny girl she was then. How is she doing it? Oh my gosh, how am I? And then they resort to bulimia, not even knowing she's bulimic. If, if she came out, if these stars came out and said they were bulimic and people had an awareness, I feel like less people would be bulimic. But the more people that lie about it, the more than a young person like myself, I learned how to be bulimic from the stars. Because I it was like, how are they doing it? And then you start hearing someone had an eating disorder, and you go, oh, that's how they did it. And then you learn. But they often lie about it. They they don't. They often lie about their recovery. They still are doing it, and so um, I think it's. An, I like to do these blogs just for people to have awareness because if you're racking your brain, how is Ariana Grande as thin as she is, and she's drinking a frappuccino every day because she's throwing up? Now, and you say, well, you're saying she's not thin. She is thin. I'm saying she's not as thin as she was. So what she's doing is she wants you all to believe she still looks as amazing as she did in 2014, 15, 16, you know. Um, but each year, she's not looking as good because she's sitting around in her addiction of bulimia, which, like I said, the longer you do bulimia, the more obsessed you become with it because, for one thing, sugar is highly addictive. And bulimics are highly addicted to sugar because that's what they live off of. When you starve yourself, sugar is the quickest energy. So if you starve yourself, your body will want sugar right away because it, it, it'll be like, I need sugar because I'm so hungry that I, I don't have the energy to digest a steak or something. You know, I need that sugar. And so bulimics go for the uh, beverages a lot too, which are also easier to throw up. Little trick there. Yeah. Beverages are the easiest thing to throw up, so bulimics love beverages. Um, you'll see them. They also use beverages to help throw up their food. So a bulimic will also have a, this array of beverages during a meal because they're using that to help lubricate it so it's easier for all your food to come up. Water, too. Bulimics are also a lot of water they drink. So there's a, quite a few signs. So if you ever see a small girl and she is eating a copious amount of food, do not believe that she just has a, a high metabolism that doesn't exist anymore, you guys. Maybe for very, very young children, but that's even becoming more rare because people are consuming so much sugar now that, as you see, kids are having obesity problems and stuff. So there's very few kids that just have these metabolisms through the moon like we used to see, uh, where they could just eat a horse and you know not gain a pound. Now even kids are struggling with their weight. But so if you see a small girl, and especially a celebrity, so my argument about the the celebs is why wouldn't they be bulimic if they're pressured eight eight million dollars Ariana Grande was given to show up to Coachella do you think that's some pressure to get your body in shape and if if it's not working if you're dieting and it's not working or you, you know everything's failing you go fine I'll throw up yeah let's do that let's try that that worked in the past but like I said eventually it stops working she doesn't know what to do now because you have to change your entire lifestyle to get over bulimia. It's not a where you can continue to How eat. How long does it take? To well, like years. I said, it's been uh, like four years now almost. Years and I'm years. still like, I still have like, um, years where years. I have pains and things from the damage I did. Like my voice is still healing. Um, I get uh, aches and pains where I'm getting like just, I did so much damage to all of my organs and my muscles and bones that even four years into it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's still, I'm like still in recovery in a sense. Because a body that, that builds itself on, on nothing but just that bile and sugar yeah, so what happens all those years when I was unhealthy, any sort of injury and just regular life of growing and, you know, maturing, but especially injuries, when they go to heal, you healed 
with not good things. Like I didn't ever eat very much protein. It was all sugar. Protein is what you need to build muscle and your bones, your building blocks and stuff. If you're just eating sugar, now your bones are going to be built on sh just sugary. It's it, it, seriously, it's not the way to do. It. And that's why people have so many aches and pains and stuff because your body wants real food, and that's the key to. Believe me, getting on believe me, it's eating organics. But anyway, so the thing is, um, you guys, please ask questions. Um, I can answer more things about Erin Grande. I'll uh, try to do more stuff. But seriously, just be open-minded that these stars are often bulimic. Because for one thing, they have the money for it. They have the pressure for it. You know, $8 million to show up and to look good. You're going to say, man, I tried to diet, didn't work, I'm going to throw up. I mean, I've been there where you had a time where you had to be a certain weight for a certain time. So you resorted to, even before I was bleeding, I, I did that before. You know, you said you got to lose weight. But this, you're like, you ate too much. Oh, shoot, I'm going to throw up. People do that. So don't, if you say she's never done that, then you're lying to yourself. And people get in this idea, oh, she would never, never throw up. That 100% is not true for any celeb, really anybody, but especially a celeb, because they have the money where it's not an issue. They can spend money on food. If you're starving and don't have money, you might not want to throw up your food. But anyways, so check out, um, come back more for, and write some comments if you've got questions, comments. Tell me what you think about what I said, and I'll catch you guys later. Not the death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business. I am not in school. Put your hand down, young, and this is not for you. I'm my jail, my beach with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the market, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. Like I'm still a day, yo. And it's been like that since the day, yo. On more time than a rolly or Senko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame, we on top, shout out, shout out, check it out.